fans have gone and dug up a clip of an interview Cassie had with Diddy where she looked very scared of him. And do you fight back when he says up? Uh, you know? I would. I do have a slick mouth. <laughs> P. Diddy just ended Jennifer Lopez's career. I don't care what y'all have to say, what you think about it. My opinion is P. Diddy just ended Jennifer Lopez. Let's talk about it. This is Rich Lush with the hottest news on YouTube. Okay, after this video, I'm going to show you the entire ColourPop Cosmetics Pokemon makeup collection. I have it right here. Though. This is the palette. It's called Palette Town. So they have this whole entire makeup collection. I have it right here. Let me show you. Look. Uh, I'm obsessed with it. The entire makeup collection. So if you guys want to see the brand new ColourPop makeup collection that just came out, stay tuned to after the video because I'll include it there. Okay. So um, now that Cassie has come forward and spoken out against P. Diddy, and now that P. Diddy has made his apology video, a lot of fans are looking at Jennifer Lopez because they're like, you used to be really good friends with P. Diddy, J.Lo. And I said this in my other video and I'm saying it again, Jennifer Lopez literally needs to lip sync for her life. She needs to come out against P. Diddy and back up Cassie because then she would be in the graces of the people again. People would love her, want to buy her music. From a PR standpoint and marketing, if Jennifer Lopez came out against P. Diddy and say Cassie was right, I mean, the headlines would all be about Jennifer Lopez. And then turn around and maybe do a collaboration song, music video with Cassie. Boom. I don't understand. Go on tour. Jennifer Lopez just canceled her tour. Her whole entire summer tour got canceled because due to low ticket sales. Imagine if she was to come out against P. Diddy and say, let me tell you my side of the story. Backed up Cassie, dropped a single, a song with Cassie, and then went on tour with Cassie being the opener head runner. It's me and you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But no, she, she does not do that. I don't get it. Oh, she got the, um, okay, so shut up, don't cover me. This is the Chanel Spring Summer Collection. She has like the pink and orange, look at that. It's so cute. It's a, and the thing is, I'll be honest with you guys, when it comes to like Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Fendi, jewelry, Gucci, it's just costume jewelry. Like you're paying such a high price but it's just costume jewelry. So it's like, what am I even doing? So just keep that in mind when you do buy designer uh, jewelry. It's just costume jewelry. It's like, what? Okay, anyways, I digress. I like this one though. I like all the different colors. Okay, anyways. Oh, by the way, on my face for the foundation, I am using Milani Cheek Kiss and I'm using it as, this is the bronzer, but I'm using it as foundation. So I'll put that in the YouTube shop, so check it out as well. And um, yeah. I'm not mad at it. I really do like how it just kind of like gives me a nice glow. And then for my hair, I put in them rocking oil. So I'll link that down below as well. Okay, anyways, you get at Sephora and stuff. P. Diddy, he's not saying anything yet, but Jennifer Lopez, she is at the pit of pivotal or put whatever, pelvical, but I don't know how to say it. She's at this good time where if she was to say something against P. Diddy, people would love her. Again, right now, everyone hates Jennifer Lopez. I'm sorry. Jennifer Lopez can't sell her J-Lo glow, her J Jennifer skin, what is it? J-Lo glow skin, Jennifer Lopez skincare. She can't sell that to save her life right now. She can't. Come out, Jennifer Lopez, against P. Diddy. Come out. Beyonce's not, neither is Jay-Z, but you're closer to P. Diddy than you like us to believe. I know that for a fact. She done songs. She's been seen, she dated. Remember they were walking around the red carpet, they were dating. What is going on? Jennifer Lopez to me is like, I swear if she gave me one week as a consultant for her, I could turn her whole image around, literally. I have I have enough tricks in my up my sleeve, we can make her bigger than Taylor Swift like that, okay? But Jennifer Lopez, she just like, and I think Beyonce does it too. They're like, oh, well, I'm such a star. I'm an icon, I don't need to make videos. I don't need to get on TikTok and dance. I don't need to do this and I don't need to do that because I'm such a, I have so many M's in my bank account. I don't need to do all that. Let the girls fight for the views themselves. I'm, I'm so established. I'm expensive, you're so cheap. Keep that attitude and the girls are gonna run you by. They're gonna run circles around you. They really are. Jennifer Lopez, her efforts for being on TikTok, they just fall flat. She's not doing it right. Okay, her making movies, $20 million of the movie, it's just not working for her. That 20 million, listen, some of the best movies, iconic films have been done for $10,000, $20,000. Blair Witch Project, like, come on. Jennifer Lopez, what are you doing? Okay, I got so much to say. Let me show you this article I found out because the signs were there about Cassie this whole entire time. And I have, I, I screen recorded it. So this was posted by 
cinematic um, with the whole Cassie and Diddy and that how basically Cassie, if you paid attention, Cassie was giving us signs that the abuse was happening with P. Diddy all along. And Jennifer Lopez, in my opinion, she knew. And you said nothing. So here we go. Let's roll it, grab a snack, and come on back. Fans have gone and dug up a clip of an interview Cassie had with Diddy where she looked very scared of him. And do you fight back when he says up, you know? I would, I do have a slick mouth. Because you're, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, but yeah no, she talks slick a lot. Every day there's a new video of Diddy doing something horrible getting leaked. Ever since CNN leaked that video of him putting the paws on Cassie, the fans have been going over old interviews and video clips of Cassie and Diddy, looking for signs that Diddy had just roughed Cassie up, and it looks like they found one. In one clip of Diddy and Cassie in an interview with DJ Envy, Envy asked Cassie about the dynamic between her and Diddy, since he was technically her boss, but they were together. Envy asked Cassie if she talks back at Diddy when they're having conversations about her music, and Cassie revealed she sometimes talked back. But Diddy's reaction was what had fans raising their eyebrows. And do you fight back when he says up? Uh, you know, I would. I do have a slick mouth. Because you're. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Before Cassie even got done talking, Diddy jumped in to answer the question. While Cassie looked uncomfortable, she did try to pretend like she wasn't scared of Diddy, but Diddy, for his part, didn't care. He interrupted Cassie as she answered the question to say she talked back and that she talked slick a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's okay. Yeah, no, we, she talks slick a lot. She talks, we, 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 we work together chemistry. well. Cassie managed to cover up for Diddy by saying that despite their differences, they work together well. Saying, when people hear the music that they create together, it would show how well they work together. Together. We, we, we work together well, and um, I don't know, I, it, I guess the music will just have to speak for itself when people hear it. Um, I'm really excited for it because I've been working on it for a long time. Now, that clip had people dragging Diddy again, but that wasn't all. The fans dug up another clip of Cassie and Diddy, this time at her 29th birthday party, where Cassie looked visibly uncomfortable as she hugged Diddy. Now here's the thing, it's not just about Cassie looking uncomfortable hugging Diddy, it's about what happened that night after they got home. For those of you who don't remember, Cassie's friend Tiffany Red said something went down that night. If Tiffany's name sounds familiar to you, it's because she's spoken out about what Diddy did to Cassie many times. A few weeks after Cassie filed her lawsuit against Diddy, Tiffany came out to corroborate her claims. In a letter published by Rolling Stone, Tiffany said, I'm breaking my silence freeing myself from haunting recollections, standing in solidarity with Cassie, and standing up for myself. I fear for my safety as her suit alludes to me, although not by name. I hope that revealing my identity to the public will afford me some measure of protection. Now get this, Tiffany claims she witnessed a heated confrontation between Cassie and Diddy at a karaoke spot where they all gathered for her 29th birthday. According to Tiffany, she walked out of the karaoke area only to see Diddy backing Cassie into a corner in the hallway outside the door. But it wasn't just Diddy, his security team surrounded them as he cursed her out and put hands in her face. So he had her back into the corner and he was like cussing her out with his hand in, his fit in her face. No one knows if the video of Cassie looking uncomfortable while hugging Diddy was made after Diddy backed her into a wall, but it's not hard to see from the look on Cassie's face that she was not having fun. According to Tiffany, Cassie had been afraid that night. She and I briefly made eye contact. I felt helpless. She looked afraid and kept looking down at the floor. I didn't know what to do. I was scared. Tiffany claimed Cassie asked her to go home with her that night, and she did so because she was worried Diddy would hurt her. Prior to this incident, Cassie had confided in me that you were physically abusive, and the way you were in her face that night was alarming to me, she wrote, adding, I didn't want to leave her alone, but the night was far from over. Tiffany, who was staying in Cassie's house at the time, claimed that later that night, while at Cassie's house, she was woken up by Diddy's screams, who allegedly shouted at her, emotional singing B, where are you? Standing in the like living room area, and she's there, and he was like, emotional singing B, there you are. And I just was like, oh, he's talking to me. Tiffany then went on to claim that Diddy was visibly intoxicated, and so was Cassie. According to her open letter, Cassie appeared sedated and very withdrawn. Tiffany was immediately worried because she had never seen her that way before. Eyes, And I said to him, what did y'all do? Because I could see that she was like really sedated. That was the first time I'd ever seen her like high before. Tiffany said Diddy was very upset that night because Cassie was refusing to do a freak off session with him and was yelling really loudly, telling her to tell her friend Cassie that she would do what he wanted regardless of how she felt. Well, she doesn't have to have sex with you if she doesn't want to. He was upset, like, you know, I guess that she 
didn't want to do with him whatever she whatever he wanted i don't know tiffany then added that she has been disturbed to her core over the alleged incident she witnessed he would hire these like sex workers and like they would have you know sex with her or whatever and he would watch. Ever since CNN leaked the receipts of Diddy's evil behavior, fans have been commenting on the issue like this fan who pointed out that Cassie could have been big if she hadn't been signed to Diddy. He ruins all his artists. He puts out one project, makes sure he's on it, then shelves them and keeps them. In contracts for years, not a number of albums. Cassie had a contract for 10 years, not 10 albums. Coincidentally, that's when she left him after the 10-year contract was up, one fan wrote. I think that was the birthday party she mentioned in her lawsuit. I always remember like he was not supposed to be there and she was sad he came and tried to show face, another fan added. Oh, didn't see you there. So that's what I'm trying to say. And you know what? I feel like a lot of people, we've missed those key signs that maybe Cassie was put down and we just weren't picking up, you know? We just weren't. And if you guys think that I'm really like calm today, I actually took the um, Let Me Chill gummies from Kourtney Kardashian and they're actually kicking in. So like, I'm working this one so I'm really relaxed right now. But anyways, I just want to go ahead and talk about the ColourPop Cosmetics uh, entire makeup collection that I have right here. I'm going to show you guys that. So if you guys are into that, stay tuned. Um, I basically like screen recorded it or whatever. So here we go. Roll it. Okay, ColourPop came out with a Pokemon makeup palette. And you guys, I love Pokemon. And I want to just show you the whole entire Pokemon makeup collection by ColourPop. Here we go. So it's called Palette Town. You get it? It's what it looks like. I'm kind of disappointed that it doesn't have any mirror, but they're kind of in bows. You can kind of touch them. This is what it looks like up close. The colors look really nice. Very rainbow, colorful palette. I'm not mad at it, although I just wish that it had a mirror. And here are the shades of the, in the back right here. Mm -hmm. I'm just really excited that Pokemon has like a really decent makeup collection now with ColourPop. This next one that I have right here is called Your Catch. And the design of this one, I was so happy when I saw it. I was like, okay. Now this is the whole entire collection. Like I have the whole entire box right here. So if you like these type of like makeup reviews and showing it to you, drop a heart in the comments down below. So this is what it looks like. This is your catch. And I'm gonna open it this way. And it is like a lip mask. You can see it there. And the other day on my videos, one of you guys had said like, oh, your lips look really like plumpy and like they look really good. It was this. It's like, they look like really moisturized. Look, let me show you. Mm -hmm. Now I'm in front of natural lighting, so you're getting like the real deal here, okay? It does have a scent to it. I don't, I can't describe the, the scent that that is. Um, here's a little card that came with it, so you know everything's in the box. We have a lot to go over. You have these individual little shadows, so I'm gonna show you these. You have like Charmander, mm hmm. Little Gengar. We're gonna go through everything. So get ready, guys. We even have little like swatches of we're gonna do swatches of these, so hold on. Look, we have a Cliff Fairy, we have a Squirtle, we have the Pikachu. Okay, I'm back. We have the Bulbasaur and then we have Lippies. They're like these liquid. No, I don't know. I'll show you. Look at it. It looks like these. Look. Look at that. So we have the Pikachu one, and then we have Ditto, which I'm surprised to have Ditto, but the packaging of these were so cute. And here's Jigglypuff. Oh my God, so we're gonna go through all of it. Okay, so I wanna officially start the video now. All right, so this is the ColourPop. This one says Pokemon X ColourPop, and then you have Bulbasaur on here, and I'm gonna open it up, and it says Solar Beam. And I'm gonna show you if it's worth it or not. The palette, duh, get the palette, it was great. The lippy, I, lo I, liked it. I liked it. That to me, get it. So here we go. First one is Solar Beam, and I'm gonna open it up, and I'm gonna do a swatch. So this is their like, to me, ColourPop has this formula, and it does this. It looks like it's like very soft, metallic, like jelly. That right there, it's okay. I wish it had a little bit more pigment, but this is Solar Beam. You can see it's like a, I guess, I mean, I would, I would use as like eyeshadow, but maybe you want like a green highlighter, you can do that. So you have that moment. Then we're gonna have um, Hydro Pump, which are actual moves of the Pokemon. So here's Squirtle, which Squirtle wouldn't really know Hydro Pump. It would be more Blastoise, but 
you know, you know. So here's a little water emblem. I'm gonna open up this one. All right, clean finger. For y'all say I'm messing it up. There you go, it's like a, ooh. Okay, hold on. Hello. There, yeah, that one. Dot, don't make fun of my swatches. That one, yes. Hello. I would definitely get Hydro Pump. I'm putting it over here, of the one I'm actually gonna like use. Next we have mm, Flamethrower, which I feel like it should have been called Fire Blast, but because I'm just, like such a big Pokemon fan. And if you guys are big Pokemon fans, leave a, a star emoji in the chat. All right, so I gotta open it. I'm running out of hands here, but or fingers rather. All right, here it is. Let's see, I'm gonna grab this one here. Uh, ooh, that's gonna be to know for me, dog, on this one. Yeah, I w out of out of the three shadows, I would definitely get the Squirtle Hydro Pump, only because these for me don't have enough pigment. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the Gengar, and this is called Hypnosis, and I believe these are like blushes. Like I could be wrong. So Instant Crush Cream Blush is what it looks like. Again, no mirror, and I like that it's a it's a cream and it's a cream blush. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if it has pigment. And it's a purple. So if you have like a warmer skin tone, I think this will look really good on you. I'm not mad at it. I think that's very subtle. I don't think it'll look good on me, but I like it. So that is Hypnosis with the Gengar on it. Okay, next up is Metronome with the Clefairy Instant Crush Cream Blush. And here's that one. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, here we go. Okay, I was like, no, I want another color on there. No, I didn't. Okay. It is like, it's like cooling. Look at that. All right, we're going to swatch it right here. That one for me, I as a keeper. I love that one. Uh, the, the green is popping up a little more with the like natural light, but I would say if it comes to like a, like of a more of a popular kind of blush, I would say the Clefairy Metronome slaps. This one makes no sense for me. This is the Pikachu Electro Ball. This is the Instant Crush Cream Blush. It's red. And I have to switch hands here and we'll have to do it this way. So here we go. Ooh. And it's not my color, but I just don't think of the red when it comes to Pikachu. So I think, I don't know. Maybe they could have chose like a Mr. Mine for that, but who am I? Okay, next is we have Thunderstone, Firestone, and Waterstone. And if you guys know the name of these Pokemon, leave it in the comments down below. Um, but if you don't, it's uh, Vaporeon, Flareon. Oh my God, is it Electrion? Oh my God, no! Oh, why am I, I think I messed that up. But I think I got, I got two of them right for sure. Okay, here it is. And this is labeled as Ultra Glossy Lip Trio. So, yeah. And at the top, it just, you can see, this is the Flareon. Okay, here we go. At this point, I'm just gonna have to like mess it up. All right. So here's the Flareon color. And it's a gloss that is gonna have a little bit of like an orange hue to it. It's not red and it smells like like candy, so I'm not mad at that. Then we have the electric one right here, which this should have been peak. It's like, what are you, what are you guys doing? Okay, here we go. And then I'm gonna put this right here. Ooh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a gold, but it's showing up purple. I don't know why, but I see gold, but gold flakes in it. But you guys, there you go. You can kind of see it. This one, I don't know. Interesting. Then we have the Vaporeon. And this is like a, a blue lip gloss, and we'll put it here. But it's showing up purple, you can see it. I'm trying to put a generous amount on. I don't know how to feel about these. I think these, I'm, I hate to say it because I'm such a fan of ColourPop. I'm a, I think I'm gonna pass on those. Okay, there's, there's so much more I wanted to go over. Hold on. Okay, now we have the lip balms. So these are the transforming pH lip balms. So this is gonna be Sing. And it has uh, Jigglypuff on there. I feel like this collection, 
there's a lot of hits and there's some misses on it for me. The packaging of this, I mean, this, uh, amaz this is so good. So here is the Jigglypuff and you can see the, oh, so cute. I'm gonna open it up here and look at that. How could you not want that? Okay, I'm gonna put it on my lip. This one I will put on my lip, hold on. Let me wipe the gloss off. Mm. Oh, the balm. Remember we tried this earlier? That, okay. Now it said it's color changing pH, so I will say like it's 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 very smooth. It's just so pretty. It's very smooth. We'll see if it changes while I'm on camera. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's changing. It's turning like a little pinky color. Then we have Pikachu here. Uh, the bombs are amazing, but it does have like shimmer and reflex in it. You can kind of see. All right, and here is the Ditto. Let's see, Ditto's, Ditto, Ditto, Ditto's face, and here we go. Um, the Ditto showed up very clear. There you go. So you can choose your own which ones you like. The packaging of these is amazing. I think this is perfect for any Pokemon fan. But obviously, the star of the show for me was this right here, the little bomb, and also the makeup palette. So. Hope you guys like it, and let me know what you think about this video. I love Pokemon. Thank you, ColourPop. I hope you liked it. Let me know what you think about all that drama in the comments down below. This is Rich Lux with the hottest celebrity news on YouTube.